So I know it's been a minute. I know. I know it's been a minute since you've seen some reactions on this channel. And you're sad and lonely. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the top 10 best Eurovision performances. If you've been watching me for a minute, you know that I'm very interested in other cultures, other type of music, like other languages, just stuff like that. And what better way to discover multiple artists from different places than to watch this show. So I'm very excited to dive into this show. I hope you guys are excited as well because I'm gonna stop chatting. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the reaction. <laughs> Some performances steal the show, while others are unforgettable for completely different reasons. So this is a compilation, okay. And okay, because I was like, why the hell is someone talking? Top 10 Eurovision performances. I'm ready! Take me there! 1996! Before we begin, we put Wow, we're going all the way back. I had no idea this was this deep. For this list, we're focusing on the most memorable live performances, judging on showmanship and unique flair. A challenging mm -hmm. feat since every year, there are interesting entries for ESC. Classic entries like ABBA's Waterloo are excluded since they gave good but static performances. Wait, ABBA was on the show? Number 10, It's My Life, Cesar from Romania. Romania! Okay, let me hear more Romanian stuff. We know what you're thinking. Glowing orbs, smoke machines, and a bedazzled Dracula? It gets better. What makes this performance by Romania's Cesar noteworthy is the singer's vocal range paired with dubstep and nudish dancers on stage. <laughs> Admittedly, the dancers are a bit distracting, but we're guessing that if they were painted any color but red, that it would clash with the decor. Here's the thing, it's never boring, and instead draws you in until the song ends and you want to hit replay. <laughs> Joke all you like about Cesar, but it takes balls to represent your country, sing in falsetto for millions of viewers, and make it look effortless. Okay, Cesar! Heroes, Mon Love from Sweden. Sweden. Stupid, sexy Swedish Mons. He said, go dry your eyes and live your life like there is no That's turmoil. That's so cute. This feast for the eyes won the competition that year with captivating visuals and choreography that was perfectly synchronized between Mons and the animation being projected behind him. But we're dancing with the demons in our minds. It could have easily been cheesy, but instead, it stunned audiences with its simplicity and dynamic storytelling. <laughs> on stage, Mons knows how to engage the audience. It's also easy to chalk up the performance's success on the visuals, but a large part of it is That's some Beyonce shit right presence. there. Mm -hmm. Number 8, Hold Me, Farid Mabadov from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? I'm not gonna lie, I've never song, heard that country rather, before. Rather, it's creative choreography. It may be difficult Azar, to reinvent a chest Azar pounding Azar song, yet it Bajan. doesn't take a genius to rhyme smile with mile. <laughs> Even though the lyrics are lackluster, we have to give props to the dancer whose sole job is to mirror the singer's movements while trapped in a glass box. What? What is going on here? And is then flooded with rose petals because you know symbolism. I don't like this commentator. <laughs> he's too much of a joke. Like he's joking too much. Number seven. He's like a you know, you know, Genghis Khan. Khan from Germany. From Germany. One of the beautiful things about Eurovision is the unpredictability of certain performances. Case in point, the theatrically dressed German band Genghis Khan, who sang about the dreaded Mongolian warlord. At a time when Eurovision had a live orchestra and limited space, the group They remind me of that group that sang um, YMCA. It's time to stay at the YMCA. YMCA. What are they called? The... I, I don't know what they're called. The Journey? Like, I don't know. Bloodthirsty ruler with broad strokes, it's a catchy disco tune with a cheesy ensemble. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Six. Ukraine dances. Ruslana from Ukraine. Just baby, 
first impressions are important, and the best way to get everyone's attention is to have a powerful opening. Say, a few battle horns. Oh, and don't forget percussion. From the start, WoW dances is a hit with the audience as they chant and clap in time with the leather-clad performers on stage. The performance is distinct for its mix of English and Ukrainian lyrics and infectious energy. It's also impressive how Ruslana manages to sing through all the head tossing and wild dancing. Wild dances didn't just win that year, it netted Ukraine's first Eurovision win ever. Now back to Pearl's for some dancing. Oh, that's so good! Yes, you're doing good for your country, girl! You see, I'm here representing Ukraine, and I'm here to slay! <laughs> Rise like a phoenix, Conchita Verst from Austria. Oh, she gives me very like. Ooh. Through the years of Eurovision, flame graphics and wow. pyro techniques have been widely used for that wow factor. For this entry, it's a welcome addition to Conchita Verst's mesmerizing oh vocals. Oh my god! No one could have it looks like what you did to me. like slow burn performance. If Jesus was like bird singer, glam me up. Standing apart from other entries that are typically fast paced and crowded. She dance. said Jesus, but Rise make it glam. Is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. performance and evoking strong. She said white Jesus, white Jesus, but make it glam. What is going on here? Beloved fan favorite, Conchita not only won the hearts of many, she also won the song contest that year. We could be the same. We could be the same from, from Turkey. Turkey. This entry is a delight to the senses. Turkish alternative rock band Banga deliver a hypnotic act with their five-piece ensemble, a wicked light show. See, if I was in the audience, this is the unity. this is the ones I'd be rooting for. I'd be there like yes! Yes! Oh, and don't Such forget the metallic fan. Power Ranger in the background. That Turkish act stands out for its combination of modern with traditional, a factor which made Manga a strong contender for the finals. We could be the same as unique for its rich blend of new metal, hip-hop, and Anatolian melodies. Even though Manga finished in second place, their performance Aww. and message still resonates. Hallelujah, Lordy from Finland. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. We'd be wrong in admitting this sensational performance, and honestly, we're still surprised that Finland sent a heavy metal band to represent them. Enter Mr. Lordy and his Hellions, who enthrall the audience with their deadly ensemble of drums, electric guitars, and guttural vocals. <laughs> to the spellbinding and hellish melody are the full body costumes and special effects makeup that solidify the entire performance. We also have to give it's up like those gorgeous going to hell wings that to see a concert. out of nowhere. That's what this is like. It's like going to hell. Like you book a the first disputed champions for Eurovision that year since they did after all first class ticket to hell. Performances. To go watch a concert. Why this so many commercials? Number two, love, love, peace, peace. On Sebmerlev and Petra Miel. Look into the TV camera so the audience can see that you love a ball, not desperate smile, and they won't vote for me. Fill the stage with light. All right, so this isn't an actual ESC entry, but the epic scale of this performance would be criminal to ignore. A love letter to what makes Eurovision a wonderful and crazy song competition. The hosts sing about the various tropes and stranger elements from previous entries over the years. Man in a hamster wheel. That happened. The stage is a smorgasbord of costume performers dancing and playing alongside past winners of the this competition. This is so much fun. Like this stage has seen it all. Whether you recognize the that references is iconic. or are new to Eurovision, it's a lyrical masterpiece to be That is more. iconic. The fact that this stage has experienced all manner of artistry, creativity. Before we reveal our top Eurovision sensation, here are a That's few crazy. honorable mentions. Number one, 
Dancing Lasha Tumbai, Belka Siduchka from Ukraine. We hope you don't have any plans for the day because your brain will be playing the song on repeat. Where to begin? The excessively shiny wardrobe, the absurd yet jolly dance moves. Russian, Ukrainian, and Jewish lyrics. Don't try and make sense of the performance, though. Rather, enjoy the lively back. I'm trying to make sense of this whole video. Although dancing Lasha like, Dubai what? And this is not what I thought this video. I thought it was going to be like, I can actually watch these performances, but it's a compilation video. Do you agree with our picks? Check out. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna need y'all help for this. Y'all need to be in the comment section. Now need to go to the comment section right now and let me know what country, what artist I should like really focus on for now. For now. So I should like an uh, artist or a country or whatever I should dive deeper into like reacting to their performances, like their whole performances. And it has to be on YouTube. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll dive into that on a different video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Go down to the comment section and leave me a wonderful comment. Turn on my post notification bell and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.